This is Roth Conrad on American Safari. Today I'm here in the hostel in the forest with Noel Argubright. Noel, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, how about uh, just tell me a little bit about yourself, a uh, brief history of your life? Well, um, I was born and raised in Texas, and I grew up in a small town, uh, two traffic lights and 2,000 people. <laughs> uh, it's about an hour north of Waco. It's called beautiful Lake Whitney, Texas. And um, uh, when I got out of high school, I went to art school in Kansas City, Missouri for two and a half years, and then uh, I moved to Savannah, Georgia, and have done preservation work for old buildings and sites. And you got that job through art school? Or? Um, yes, I got that job through art school, and I've been doing construction-related work for seven years. Nice. Um, any any interesting stories or anything come to mind about uh, restoring old buildings? Or? Um, oh, there's all kinds of interesting stories. You find all kinds of things hidden in walls. Um, I was uh, working uh, at a fort, at a Civil War fort, um, outside of Savannah, Georgia, and we found um, we were uh, like uh, removing plaster off of these bricks, and we found. Um, all these like old newspapers and uh, and uh, pages from Harper's Weekly, and we were under underneath the plaster, and that was pretty exciting. There was like an ad for Eli Whitney's brand new cotton gin and <laughs> things like that. It was it was it was pretty exciting. Do you get to did you get to keep any any artifacts or anything? Um, we I don't have any in my possession, but um, but uh, friends of mine that I was working with uh, have them. Uh -huh. Um, how did you like art school? Um, it was okay. Um, it was uh, not quite like my my uh, cup of tea because uh, I guess I'm, I was more of a folk artist and I went to art school and they made it more conceptual and sterile and more uh, okay. scientific than I What do you like. mean by folk art? Um, before I went to art school, I taught myself everything I knew about art, and everything I made was for specific people and everything. And um, and uh, the art school kind of frowns upon <laughs> upon that. <laughs> the one, the one yes. Kind of a structured type of thing. Right. Did you did you do uh, the critiques and everything? Yes. You sit in a room and you put the piece up and everyone tears it apart. Right. It, it was just you know, it just wasn't. Um, wasn't my thing. Did you so do you do you paint or was your like 3D art? Building I do things? I do painting and sculpture. Okay. And um, the type of sculpture I liked to do was um, um, like in the room it just kind of looked like a, a crazy mess of of sticks and other materials, but then when you got to this one specific point, like a picture would appear and out of the negative space of the sculpture. And that was very exciting to do. You did that? Yes. Um, so what? how big was the room? For example, um, well, my art wasn't that big. I would say it was like four feet by two and a half feet. And it just looked like a, a, a spiral. OK. And then when you stood like did in this did, one specific Did you mark the spot place. for people, or was it? Um, yes, I marked the spot for people. Um, and uh, when you stood st in this one specific spot, you would see like a silhouette of a person or a silhouette of something in the negative space. Do you have any pictures of that? Uh, not with me, no. Uh, oh, that sounds <laughs> neat. Uh, and so then, and then you went from that into yeah. art restoration in Savannah. Well, uh, building restoration. Building restoration. Yes. How did you find out about that? Um, I just just knew Savannah was, uh, you know, a hub for um, for preservation, and I wanted to go into preservation because it's uh, one of the highest forms of recycling possible, because so much energy and so much material um, goes into a building, and then when you tear down a building, a lot of money and a lot of uh, energy goes into doing that, and then you are faced with this problem of all this waste that... Um, People have been insensitively just throwing away. Yeah. How did how did you find out what got you into like restoration then? Um, that that was it. Just, just the just the concept of 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 recycling and 
pre preserving what we have and making what we have livable and lovable so we don't go off and start building all this sprawl that just eats up our agricultural land. Yeah. Because if we have concrete from east coast to west coast, how are we going to be self-sustainable and grow our own food? Rooftop gardens. What's that? Rooftop gardens. Oh, right. Rooftop <laughs> gardens. Uh, so I guess you just came across it in, in reading or talking to people about recycling, yes. sustainability, and came across restoration. Restoration. Did you have building experience prior to starting to do Yes. Or? I've been okay. doing carpentry since I was 16 years old. And um, I just love working with my hands and sweating and uh, s sitting back at the end of the day and, and just seeing what, what you have done instead of just like slaving away at a computer and, and uh, just staying in a cubicle with, with uh, fluorescent lights and all you do is touch plastic and look at the screen all day. Like have, you, I, have you had a job like that? Uh, mm, no, I, not that, that wasn't all that I've ever done, but I've had jobs where I had to do some computer work and it's just, it just gets your anxiety really high. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make you feel you so need, good. You need sunshine to be happy. Um, so, how about, do you have any uh, dreams or ambitions for the future? Like, what would, what would you like to do in an ideal scenario, like if everything just works out for you? Oh, um, I definitely want to be self-sustainable, and I want, I want to have land and have um, enough agriculture uh, to, to sustain myself and whoever um, I'm living with. And um, hopefully I, I do something similar to the hostel where we always have new people coming and going uh, because uh, the Bring, variety is the yeah. spice of life. Bring your social life to you right. so you don't have to go out and find it. Exactly. I like that idea. Um, well, what else can we talk about? Um, how long have you been here? I've been here at the hostel for two months, and I plan on staying at least one more month, but it might be longer than that. And did you were you here when they started the outdoor kitchen over there? Or? Well, no, um, I've I've been here since the stem wall has has been built. And what's and the stem wall? The stem wall is is a wall about three feet high, and we used uh, urbanite, which is um, recycled uh, concrete from busted up sidewalks and driveways. And the purpose of a stem wall is to prevent moisture from entering the cob structure itself. Okay. So three feet is kind of enough to prevent right. moisture from... Well, not quite three feet. Like, I, I would say about knee-high, knee maybe mm -hmm. more like right. two feet. And uh, that's and then you used, like, mortar or concrete to put that together, like block laying or something? Right. Yes. And so you weren't here for that, or you were here for that? Um, I was here for that. Okay. Yes. And then and then you helped put the and clay on top? And then we put the cob and the, the clay and uh, oh, all the designing of this, of the... Uh, um, of the shelves and the interior space That's of the kitchen. Uh, do you know uh, where you're going next? Where I'm going next? Um, I'm probably going to go to Texas and work at a farm uh, that belongs to a friend of my family. And uh, I'm going to work there until about January. And hopefully uh, then I can start working for Outward Bound, which is a uh, organization that takes at-risk at youth and um, brings them out into the wilderness and and lets them see a whole new side of life, like the sunny side, Outward the brighter Bound. side. Do they have a website that you know of? Yes, um, outwardbound.com, or it might be outwardbound.org. Okay. Um, yeah. And they have uh, uh, small organizations all over the United States. So you've been in contact with them, I guess. Um, I've I've known some people that have done it, and um, and uh, it sound it sounds great. It sounds like a very fulfilling job and exciting, and something that will well I each day I'd I'd be faced with new challenges. Yeah, that sounds very exciting to me. Well, good. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, is there any, anything you'd like to leave us with, or anyone you'd like to say hi to that mm -hmm. might see this? Uh, um, well, I want to send all my love to my family. I love them very much, and I miss them very much. And I appreciate everything that they've done for me. And um, all my friends that, <laughs> that, I, that I know, especially Kathy Grimes, um, I, I miss her very much. She's a special person. Okay. And can I post this on my website? You may. All right, Noelle, thank you. Thank you.